Okay, yeah. good. Um, I there. Good evening. Everything is fine. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good. Done with the yes. practice too. Yes, I am pretty much safe. Okay, so so we are ready. Then we are ready to celebrate. Okay, so we have a graduation party on tomorrow night. Okay. By soon. Yes, after ten. Before yes. the before the. <laughs> on Friday, yes, on Friday we're gonna have a party. Okay, good. Now we have some, uh, let's say, practice to review some tenses. Uh, let, me see, let me see here, we have this one. This is the one that I... <coughs> <coughs> okay, uh, but just let me... When I haven't got. Okay, but before I just want to do a quick, a quick quiz. You know, you know, this is a pop up quiz. Yeah, with everybody here together. Okay, so if, uh, in, the, in this page we have a uh, eight sentences, right? And Anna Molina, can you please read the number one and choose one of the two options? Okay. I haven't got my cell phone. That's okay. I'm going to lend or I'll lend you mine. Okay, just one. Um, I think I, I'll lend you mine. Okay. Why did you choose that one? Because that um, that the first the question is negative and present perfect. Mm -hmm. But also is a decision taken in the moment, right? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, and that is a good thing. Okay, when you see haven't got in this case, this one is British English. Okay, this is British English, and the meaning is, I don't have. Okay, so this is not, uh, it's similar to the present perfect, but it is not the present perfect. Okay, okay. So, uh -huh. so, but this is British English, right? So, it's a good thing to know. Okay, good. Uh, Elena, can you read the number two? Okay, it's Juliet. Julia's birthday next week, so we are going to buy her some flowers or so we'll buy her some flowers. The first one we are going to buy. Okay, sounds like a plan, right? Sounds like they yeah. are planning to do something. Okay, good. Um, Ada? Read the number three. You lend me 10 euros. I promise. I, I, pro I, pro I promise. I'll give it back. I promise I give it back to you tomorrow. First or second? The second. Yes. Okay, good. Perfect. Now, uh, let me see here. Laura, can you read number number three before the, the dog eats us? Number okay. three. Yes, number three. Number three. Uh, will you lend? I. Here. Okay. Number four. Um, number four. Uh -huh. Sorry. We're going to have a barbecue tomorrow. It's all planned. So I have it one drink or we'll have a barbecue tomorrow. It's all planned. So I have in one drink. The answer for me is the second. 
A second? Yeah. Sure. Mm, it says yeah. it's all planned. Oh. Mm. It's first. Okay, it should be the first, right? Okay, yeah. we'll, see. we'll see if they change. Okay, good. Uh, Carlos Ramos, number five. Jing um, is starting university tomorrow, but uh, the second answer is will he? Uh, okay, good. Uh, let me see, Diego. Number six. Number six. Mm -hmm. uh, you aren't going to like that, that film. It's very frightening. 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 Uh huh. Let's choose another one. So the first one? Yes. Okay, good. Third, number seven. Number seven. Do you think, do you think they. They are going to, to like the presents we got for them, or do you think they'll, they'll like the presents we got for them? I think it's the first. Okay, first. Okay, good. And uh, Maria Perdana, number eight. Maria Fernanda, no? Okay, probably she's got a problem with the audio, maybe. Uh, well, uh, Anna, give me the number number eight. Okay, look, the coach uh, in is going to leave um, your round or will uh, miss miss it. Okay, which um, one? The second one. Okay, the second one. Um, yes, Diego, that's correct. Brighton is brightening experience. Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. All right, now let's check our answers. Let's see the score that we get. It says... Four out of eight. Wow. Okay. We're going to have, will he? Let's see the answers. Okay. So Jim is starting. Okay. Then it's already a plan. So here we have to use going to. You aren't going to like. So you won't like that film. Is there one do you think they are going to like? They will like. But you say think is not very sure, right? And the last one is look at the coach. He's going to leave. Right? So probably run or will miss it. It's like a prediction that they see that he's probably leaving, right? Okay, in some of this, sometimes you need the context, right? So you need to have a picture to give you a better idea. Okay, but then we had two, four, 50%, which is not, not really bad, right? So just remember the time expressions. Here is Jim's starting, probably you can use it as a clue, okay? Uh, you won't like that film, it's very frightening. It's something like, you know, probably you are deciding in the moment to say that the person will not like it. Do you think uh, they will? Then it's, does you say think? Sounds like it's not sure, like maybe, okay, probably. And in this one I say, look, the coach is going to leave, run or will miss it. Okay, so this was just for you to have a, another, another uh, idea about this. You can find, you know, how techy are you. You can find a lot of uh, 
exercises in Oxford University Press. Okay, let me see what else we have. Did you? Okay, this is the one for, okay, here, this is the other one. Okay, this is what we're going to practice the review tonight. Simple present, sorry, simple present and? Present perfect. Present perfect, correct. And I have here three conversations. Okay, we have Cam and Raul, right? So we have two people here. Okay, I need two volunteers who want to read this conversation. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, I saw Eleta and I saw Ide. Okay, read it. There are three conversations, so everybody's going to read anyways. But Okay. Let's do it. Okay, now Elena and Aide. Beginning here. Okay. Okay, you can begin, hello. Elena. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello, Raul. How are you? Who are you doing? Fine. I've just returned from the US. Uh, US. How, how are you? I'm good. Thanks. How was your US trip? I guess you were on a business trip. Yes, I was on a business trip. I do some business interest in the U.S. and the Latin America. I see. Have you been to the U.S. before? Yes, I've been to the U.S. a few times. Actually, this was my third trip this year. Did you meet any interesting people during your U.S. trip? Sure. I meet quite a few interesting interest people during this trip. It was a great experience. Your sister lives in the U.S., right? Did you visit her? Yeah, I visit her. I visit her whenever I go to the U.S. She's only sister, you know. Good. Okay. Okay, how does this uh, conversation sound? Formal, informal. Uh, what what do you see in the conversation? It's very informal. It's very informal, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. What else? What else do you see? Me? Anybody? Uh huh. Oh, but there, if you have any any other observation. Mm, let me see. It's about a trip, mm -hmm. a business trip. For example, here in, in I am good, thanks. How was your US trip? They said that it's a business trip, but it's very informal. It's not uh, about uh, with the formal language. Yes, to start with also, you know, it gives you an idea about the pronunciation, right? When the people are speaking. Remember, yeah. for example, we never use, when we write, we never use this contraction, right? Never. But in this case, because it is an informal conversation, they're using, how are you doing, right? How are you doing? How are you doing? No, how are you doing? Okay, so it sounds like, how are you doing? Hello, Rob. Okay, say, hey, how are you doing? And then, if you used to see here, for example, this is like, how are you? Okay, how have you been? And they say, Pi, I have just returned. Okay, this is the present perfect. Okay, something that, what, uh, how, are, how have you been doing? I have just returned. How are you present, simple present? I'm good, thanks. And then, since you have how was, simple past, your US trip, or how was the trip, your trip to the USA. I guess you were on a business trip. You see, simple past, simple past. I was on a business. This one, for example, is present, simple present. But instead of saying, I have some business interest, he used I. I have some business interest. So this is when people are speaking very, are speaking very fast. Okay, so these are some of the inform informal uh, ways of using the language when we speak. Then you see, for example, that again, the present 
perfect, present perfect, a simple past, did you meet, simple past, I met, simple past, it was, simple past, your sister lives. Now here comes another informal, informal structure, okay? Your sister lives in the US, right? Okay. So, for example, that the question would be the correct, no, the formal question would be uh, Does your sister live in the US? Okay. Or another, uh, another formal way to do it is Your sister lives in the US, doesn't she? Have you heard about the tag questions before? No. When you say you like cookies, don't you? You like coffee, don't you? Okay. I don't. Uh, you say you don't like. Uh, you don't like. Uh, you don't like coffee, do you? Diego, you don't like coffee, do you? No, I don't like. Okay. Do you? In this case, it's like verdad, de a, va. Yeah. Okay. That's what we use. Okay. So that is a tap. Then in this case, it's similar to right, but right is very informal. Okay. Your sister lives in the U.S., da? Yeah, right? So this is, sounds like that. That's why, you know, the, the tone of this uh, conversation is informal. Okay? So you see, this is another way, too, that you can see also that the conversation is informal, but it's not a slang. Okay? It's not a street language. Okay? It's not bad words. It's just informal. Okay, good. Uh, two more volunteers. The same conversation after when I read the other two. Okay, two volunteers. Okay, Fer, and who else? Me. And? Me. Diego, okay, read it. Uh, hello, Raul. How are you doing? Fine, I've just returned from the United States. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How was your US trip? I guess you were on a business trip. Yes, I was on a business trip. I have some business interests in the U.S. and Latin America. I see. Have you been to the U.S. before? Yes, I've been to the U.S. a few times. Actually, this was my third trip this year. Did you meet any interesting people during your trip, your U.S. trip? Sure. I met quite a few interesting people during this trip. It was a great experience. Your sister lives in the, in the U.S., right? Did you visit her? Yeah, I visit her. I visit her whenever I go to the U.S. She's my only sister, you know. Good. Okay, very good. If you see here, there is a combination of... What, what, do, what do they mean the... When, when Raul say, sure, I met quite a few interests. Quite, what, what is quite? Uh, it means like a few. Say quite a few is, uh, like said, it's just to give a little more emphasis. For example, when you said I did the, the, a few times, uh, what is your one? Okay, I met quite a few. Like in this case, it would be like unos cuantos, right? This expression. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but it's a, it's an, that, that's an expression that informal that you say quite a few. I have quite a few. Unos cuantos amigos. I have a quite a few friends. Okay, so uh, in the United States. Okay, okay. quite a, but it's the complete expression, right? Quite a few. Good. Okay. Um, then we have another one here. Okay. Anna, do you want to try this one? Okay. Okay, and Laura, right? Use, okay, use your names if it's necessary, right? You say, uh, have you finished that report yet? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Have you finished that report yet? No, Laura? I haven't. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I haven't finished that report. I still work at on it. Working on it. On it. It should be ready by evening. Good. 
What about your presentation? How you prepare for it? Yes, I I prepared for the presentation. I'll make the presentation tomorrow morning. How you show the draft to the manager? Yes, I is showing to him. He's impressed with that I've done. I'm glad, I'm glad that you are well prepared for the presentation, all the best. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, fine. Now this one is another, this is another one, right? Have you finished that report yet? Okay, the information, right? No, I haven't finished that report. I'm still working on it. If you see, this is present continuous, right? If you haven't finished, I'm still working on it. It should be ready by evening, okay? It should be ready by today in the evening. It's a long answer. Good. What about your presentation? Okay, have you have you prepared for it? That means if you have practiced it, if you are ready, I say yes, I have or I've prepared for the presentation. I'll make the presentation tomorrow morning. Okay, have you shown the draft? What is a draft? To the manager, it's like the, the previous, okay? Uh, the like advanced the minis como cartel? Uh, no, this would be like a, a borrador, we call it, right? Have you shown the draft to the manager? This is when you present something, but it's not the final product yet. Okay, it's still in, uh, when you say it's still in construction, Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's the draft. Yes, I have shown it. Yes, I have shown it to him. He's impressed with what I've done. He's impressed with what I have done. What I've done. I'm glad that you are well prepared for the presentation. All the best. Okay, so this is a good wish. All the best. I say thank you. Questions about vocabulary? No. No? Yeah. Okay. Who wants to practice the same conversation? Doesn't matter if you. Uh, Maria Fernanda, you practice. No. Not yet. Okay, no. Okay, Ada, you want to practice again? Hey, teacher. And Elena. Me, teacher. Okay, yes, good. Mm -hmm. I said already. Okay, good. Go ahead. Is that you, Ada? Oh? Ada, Ada, you start. Ah, okay. Have you finished that report, the report yet? No, I haven't finished that report. I'm still working on it. It should be ready, ready by the evening. Good. What about your presentation? Have you prepared for it? Yes, I have prepared for the presentation. I will make the presentation tomorrow morning. Have you shown show the draft to the manager? Yes, I have shown it to him. He's impressed with what I have done. I'm glad that you, you are well prepared for the presentation. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Very good. And then you know we have the last one, which is uh, number three says, hey, Peter and Maya, this is the first time you visited Amsterdam, right? So this is similar to the other one. Uh, yes, this is my very first visit to Amsterdam and I'm thrilled. I've always wanted to visit uh, the city. You know, what I have read a lot about Amsterdam. And they say, have you visited any museums yet? There are quite a few museums in Amsterdam. No, I haven't had any time yet. I hope to visit a couple of museums tomorrow. Good, I'm glad that you're enjoying your stay here. I'll talk to you soon, thank you. 
Okay, Carlos and who else is here? And Diego, can you please read? Use your names, okay? You're gonna use. Yes. Uh, Carlos, you're going to be Peter, and Diego, you're going to be the partner. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Carlos, to begin. Okay. Uh, this is the first time you visited Amsterdam, Roy? Yes, this is my, my very first visit to Amsterdam and I'm thrilled. I always wanted to visit this city. You know what? I have I've read a, a lot about Amsterdam. I heard you visited um, any museum, museum yet? There are quite a, a few museums in Amsterdam. No, I haven't. I haven't had any time yet. I hope to visit a couple of museums tomorrow. Good. I agree you, that you you enjoy you stay here. I told you to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Now, questions about the vocabulary in the three conversations. This one I think is. Yeah. Um, uh, for example, in the last club, mm -hmm. I'm, en I'm enjoy enjoying. Mm -hmm. Okay, glad is you know, like, like when you are uh, kind of happy. Okay, glad, content. And when you are enjoying it, it's because you like. You are having a good time. Okay. You are enjoying, you are having a good time. Okay, so you say, I, you are, I hope, you says, I'm glad that you are having a good time here. Okay, this is to be happy about something. Okay, good. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're going to, how many people do we have? I have like 11 people. Yeah. Okay. Let's practice a little bit. If you go to Amsterdam, you can visit the Anna Frank House and the Van Gogh Museum. Anna Frank? Anna oh. Frank House. Uh huh. And Van Gogh's Museum. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Well, actually, what I know about Amsterdam is that they have a lot of uh, uh, places for, for uh, how do you call this? For bicycles, right? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, in the, most of the people uh, uh, ride bicycles instead Nordic, of cars. Nordic countries, Nordic countries uh, they, they custom to their people to, to use the bicycle. Okay. All right. Netherlands, Sweden, and Swiss. And Switzerland. Switzerland. Switzerland, maybe Sweden and Norway. Norway. Too. Norway, too, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, probably. Okay, so I will uh, give you six minutes to talk. Okay, don't you, if you can prepare, there, there would be like three people in each group, but uh, just practice questions with a simple present, I mean, simple past and present perfect. Okay, and see if we can probably uh, create, you know, a conversation you know, with an introduction and keep the conversation going and then uh, the closing of the conversation okay now here you go with the invitation okay accept your invitations and they're gonna have like five to seven minutes to practice
Twitter. You want, uh, if you want, Ada, I don't know, you can start with, we can, we can start with the reading. Hi, hi, Fer, or hi, Elena. Okay. Uh, hi, Fer. And. Hi. Have you uh, been? Oh, no. you want, I, uh, we we can we can make that if Elena and I work together and we met you in a place. Ah, okay. Okay, but I start the conversation. Hi, yeah. Fer. Um, this is no. This is this is Elena. Yeah. 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 Wow. She, nah, she, uh, this is Elena. She is my friend. I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, a little oh. description about Elena. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say, Hi, Elena. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm going I, to hi, Fer. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. This is. Elena, you say. Hi, Elena, nice to meet you. Hi, Elena. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that's great. I went to visit uh, Tim Marin when I was a child. Yes. Maybe 10 years ago. I don't know. No, more, yeah, more. Um, 20 years ago, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. You, Maybe. Carlos. Carlos. So, excuse me, uh, probably. Okay. Uh, probably okay. technical. Maybe we can, we can continue with the, the conversation. Hello. People, how are you? Did you ask me? Hello. You visit? Hello, Diego. Uh, Did you visit any missing? Any museum? Uh, I have here in El Salvador. Uh, probably be a uh, and I. Uh, probably you no. I don't like the museum. And you, the, the Carlos, interference. And you, Carlos. Uh, uh, probably visit uh, the the beach um, with no. my family, friends. No, uh, 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 I did ask me about. Uh, did you visit oh. any? Museum here in El Salvador, and I, I answer, no, I don't like the museum. And you, Carlos, I ask you, and you, about did you visit any museum here in El Salvador? Um, I have friends um, visit the museum Marte. Oh. No, I I plus visit the music market for uh, from the the Cisco in Salvador. Ah, uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. David J. Guzmán. Yeah. I visited. I visited. Uh, what about you, hey. Marte. Uh, what about you, Karen? How do you visit? I have two children, right? Um, they are starting, starting, and I have to do uh, to teach their, uh, to teach them. Okay. In this case, I believe is I have done. I have done the homework. I don't know. Okay. What is your Continue. question? What is your question? What is 
What is the sentence right? Uh -huh. I have done homework. Uh, if you have uh, finished already, you can say, well, I have done my homework. Ah, okay. If you did it in the past, for, for example, you say I have finished, right? I have done my homework. I have done. I have, or for example, oh, I did my homework this afternoon. Sometimes, sometimes uh, the present perfect and the simple past will be similar in some cases, right? Okay. Uh, for example, uh, uh, suppose that in that case, if you say I have done my homework, is that you you're already done, you have already finished. Right, but okay. if you did and if you didn't do it, then you say I didn't do it, and if you did okay. it, you say I did my homework this afternoon. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pro teacher. Probably, probably the if you use simple past, you could be a little bit more specific. Okay. For example, okay. if you say I did my homework last night. Okay. Suppose the homework is for it was from Monday to for today, right? And they say, well, I did my homework yesterday, one day before. And then uh, you are very specific. But if you say, I have done my homework, I know that you finished, but I don't know when. Probably okay. five minutes ago, probably this afternoon, probably in the morning, probably yesterday, okay? In that case, okay. the, the, the simple task will be more specific. That's the difference. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, mm. how are you doing? No more questions? No. No? No. Hannah? No, teacher. No questions? Are we no questions. With this? Okay, yes. good. Perfect. So now we're going to go back to the main session and then we're going to have general practice, okay? Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Now, before we do something else, we are going to. This is a conversation using the present perfect and the simple past. Okay, there is another thing that is very important when we use the these tenses is to follow the logical sequence, right, of the conversation. For example, here's begin with a simple pass. Did you buy bread? Oh no, I forgot to buy it. I wait a minute here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. Okay, to buy some. See here, there is a combination, right? Pass and plan that you're going to do and then or could be also I will go back because it's a decision in the moment okay should be both of them okay at the end we're going to check the answers why have you put simple press I mean present perfect why have you put on your coat why have you put on your coat Which one? The second one. Yes. I'm going to take. I am going to take. Mm -hmm. Take out. Okay, I'm going to take the dog, dog out. Dog out. Okay, that's why you have your coat on. If I meet him, I. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to I, will tell. I will. I will. I will tell. Yes. The phone is ringing. The second one. 
The phone is ringing, ringing, ringing. Decision at the moment. I will answer it. You know, decision at the moment. I bought a new book tonight. The second one. I'm going to start one. Okay. Uh, what? The first one. What will, will happen? happen? What will happen? Okay. I'm not free tomorrow. I. We'll to... see the doctor. I will see the doctor. Okay. I'm so tired. I need to rest. I think. I will take a week off. I will take a week off. Okay. A coffee or tea. I will have. We'll have. I will have decision. And I. Going. I'm going. I'm going to do. I'm going to do some shopping. Okay. Shop. okay. Teacher, and, why yes. the seven is will? Why the seven is will? Yes. Yes, I'm going to. Okay. I will see. Okay, that's what we're going to see right now. This, we'll see, I'm going to see. Is it a plan or not? I'm not plan because uh, I'm not free tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I don't have any plan. Okay. How does it sound? I'm not free tomorrow. I will see the doctor. Sounds like if it is already planned or not. So this is what you have to what you have to make sure. Okay, there are two things. First, you see if it is going if it is a plan decision at the moment, or also and also that you can see that you can you can combine the tenses. This is what I want you to to see, right? But let's see here. Okay. Okay. So you asked me about number seven. Hmm. Okay, I am not free tomorrow. So the best answer was I'm going to see. Because if I am not free, it's because I already have a plan. And the plan is yes. to see the doctor. Okay, good. And the other one was the first one. Did you, okay, did you buy bread? Oh no, I forgot to buy it. Then you decide in the moment to go back. So the best form here is will. Okay, because you can say, uh, did you buy the bread? No, I forgot it. And then you can say, uh, I'm going to buy it tomorrow. Just plan for tomorrow, okay? But if you decide in the moment, no, I'll go, I'll go get it. I'll go back. Similar to this, look at the number four. The phone is ringing. And if there are three people in the room, somebody will decide to do it in the moment. Nobody has a plan to answer the phone, right? But if the phone is ringing and ringing and ringing, so one person says, okay, I will answer it. Don't worry. Stay there. Don't move. Okay? So you see, now we have 50 in the other one. Now in this one, with some more combinations, now you have eight. Okay? So the idea is this, right? To, the, the more you practice, you know, the better you will get, you know, without thinking too much, right? Here, I, I, um, I ask you to think because, you know, it's, we're practicing. But when we're speaking, we don't need to, okay, we don't have time to, to think too much, right? Uh, this is a decision at the moment. We just use it, okay? Probably, you know, uh, at the beginning, you will feel that you make more mistakes. But then as, as you practice a little bit more, then you will see that you are improving in the use of those structures. Okay, now who wants to share a conversation or what you were talking about or ask a couple of questions? No? Come on, don't be shy. You did it you did it last night, you can do it today. I worked with Ada and Elena. Okay. Okay, Ada and Elena, 
but we yeah. lost nada at the end, but you we can improvise. <laughs> yes. Okay, no, Ana is here. I have a problem with the inter. Okay. Yeah, we were working uh, at the <laughs> conversation. Ana disappeared. Yeah. Oh, she disappeared. Okay. Like, like our teacher yesterday. Yes. <laughs> okay. There are, there are some UFOs near your house, too. Okay. Yeah. So these people from Mars came and picked you up. Okay. Right. Let's, let's do the. Ask some, ask some questions to each other and see if you can continue with the conversation. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Hi, Claire. This is Elena. Hi, uh, hi, Elena. How are you? Hi, very fine. And you? I'm fine too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Fair. Have you ever cleaned San Salvador volcano? Yes, I have. Did you like it? Yes, Elena. It was a great experience for me. When you clean? I climbed two months Climb. ago. When did you climb? When, ah, did you climb? Uh -huh. when did you climb? I climbed it two, two months ago. Oh, okay. Very nice. Never, when we come been? back. What? When we come back to climb the volcano, we are going to tell you about our experience with Ada. Okay, Elena. And if I go to another volcano, I'm going to tell you and I'm going to invite you to. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Elena. And nice to nice see to you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, who has climbed a, a, a volcano? Have you climbed a volcano? Yes. What volcano? Yeah, right? I mean, any, any volcano. Yes. Yes. Uh, 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 you climbed? Okay, the one in Santa Ana, right? Uh, the other one, but, but it's a, a mountain, the Pital. Ah, okay, good. And uh, you, sir? The Tajumulco. That's in Guatemala, right? Yeah, and the Matiel Masaya. And that one is in where? In Nicaragua. Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Okay, good. But I think Tajumulco is the is the highest, right? Yeah. Yes, Tajumulco is high, the highest. And Elena? Santa Ana. Santa Ana too, right? So you saw the crater, the crater, and you saw the the uh, what is the name of this lake? Um, Quatepeque Lake, on there, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And Ada, have you climbed the uh, mountain? Only San Salvador volcano. Okay, only San Salvador. Okay, I did. You said you have climbed. That you yes, have climbed. I yes, I climbed the Boquerón. Which one? Boquerón. Ah, okay, Boquerón, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, that's a that's a nice experience, you know, and it's a actually it's a nice outdoor activity, healthy. Right and, and relax. Yeah. Okay, if you go to El Boquerón, it's nice because you can have a lot of typical food when you come back. You know, to to, reco <laughs> to recover the energy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. Okay. Who was the other group? The other group, I think it was Diego, Carlos. Who was uh, yes, uh, with Aide, Aide, Carlos, and. And Karen, but Karen has problems with yes, with the audio, right? With the okay. Audio. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay go ahead. You. Okay, hello people. How are you? Hello, Diego. Uh, did you visit any muse, museum, museum uh, yes, here yes, in yes. the <laughs> 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 that, that, that was not that was not the internet. Man. That was not the internet. Okay, repeat it. Museum. <laughs> museum. Museum. Yes. Museum. Ah, okay. <laughs> Museum. Museum. Did you visit any museum here in Salvador? No, I don't. I didn't like the museum. And you, Carlos? Yeah. Uh, uh, can visit the uh, museum Marte? 
Martin Museum. Martin Museum. What about you, Karen? Did you visit any museum? And she said the. And she said, she said, in my case, I didn't like to visit the museum. Okay. <laughs> Think Marine. <laughs> yes. And I and I said, okay, Karen, no problem. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Diego. Nice to meet you, Haley. Okay, good. Now, uh, have you ever have you ever visited uh for um let's say a museum in another country? Yes. Have you ever had the chance for two minutes? To visit another uh, a museum in another country? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Where, Diego? In Washington, D.C., Smithsonian. Ah. Wow. That's great. But I don't like it. <laughs> Why not? It's boring. No, come on. Which one, what, which one did <laughs> you prefer, go to? I prefer to visit the mountain and maybe uh, this natural uh, place. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, but but you know they have the the history museum. They have uh, yes, I, I, I mean, know, have, but I don't like it. Uh, like five or six uh, different museums. Yes, and they are all free. The science museum and everything. So well, actually, you can spend maybe or easily one day or more in each museum. You maybe. you can take a a, a bus uh, in the in the park. Uh, mm -hmm. here in Washington, and this bus uh, is free, mm -hmm. and you can go to visit all the it, 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 my, Smithsonian. Smithsonian Museum. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Right, yes, that's a great, great, it's a great chance to, to practice English and to, and to yeah. learn. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, good. Who was the other? Oh, uh, thank you. Who was the other? Who was the other group? That was a uh, Ricardo. No, Ricardo wasn't there, right? Oh, yes. Don't remember. And then Laura. Laura. <laughs> yes. Who, uh, Anna. 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 Anna, you were there too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maria Fernanda. And Ricardo, right? And Ricardo. <laughs> I was. Yes. I was another name. Yes. Because, <laughs> because, 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 <laughs> It was a spy, with yes, with, okay. another, with another device, with another telephone. Okay, go ahead. Hi, guys. How are you today? Great. Hi, Anna. Thanks. Hi, Ricardo. Hi. I'm fine. I'm okay. great. And you? Um, it, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. What can we talk about now? Maybe uh, try to... I have a question for us. Uh, Ricardo, have you ever cooked lasagna? No, I have I have not just like it, but I can cook. Okay. You don't like cook. cook. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Laura. Have you ever been to Guatemala City? Yes, I have ever visited Guatemala with my family because we we have visited uh, the church with Cristonero uh, with my mom and my sister. We 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 were we were very happy in this place in this country. It's an amazing place. Yes, Anna, uh, okay. and you. Have you ever eaten eggplants? Yes, I have. It's delicious for me. <laughs> With cream and beans and other things, do you? Uh, I eat in that moment. Okay, I wow. like it. This is meat. And and you, Ricardo, have. Have you ever thought something and someone? Have you ever? Yeah. I'm sorry. Have you ever thought 
about? Uh -huh. About something and someone? About um, enseñar. Really? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes, I told my children. Um, she's she's our st uh, student, and I I I I have to to teach them. Um, I have a question for you. Um, have you ever forgotten important date? Yes, I I have it. I have ever. The birthday, my brother's, the bro brother's birthday. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, have always, I, have always, I have always forgotten. <laughs> yes, my brother. But, but, but after I, I have ever a gift for him. I give them. I give and, them a Great. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Okay, See you bye soon. bye. Okay, bye. very good. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Okay, I think that we're gonna stop here for today. Um, tomorrow we have a party. We have a <laughs> party. <laughs> yes, tomorrow we have a party. Okay. Of the, of the, everybody the last class. Yes, everybody bring something to share, right? You can bring coffee. Just yeah. no coffee, no, please. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Why no? Bring chocolate, huh? Maybe we bring can bring hot chocolate. soda, or I don't know. Yeah, you bring the uh, chocolate hot. Chocolate. <laughs> oh, tomorrow we have a, a, I have a some chocolate. and a couple of of uh, online games that we're gonna be playing, practicing the structure. Bingles, lace, and something like that. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Good. All right, everybody. So have a good night and see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you. Okay. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.